Okay, I'm taking you thrifting in Los Angeles today and the first store is having an epic all clothing is $2. I got here 10 minutes after they open and you can already see carts full because people were just going wild. So I decided to go back to the back of the store where it looked a little like less chaotic. Um, the jeans and the pants, which isn't my favorite area. I will show you stuff that I picked up here in a second and I'll also show you stuff at the end of the video like a little mini thrift haul. Um, I'm just showing you some stuff that I left behind, which was some Mayball jeans. They were pulling on it. Um, there were some rag and bone that just didn't look in the best condition. They weren't worth much. I was gonna be a little bit picky today. Um, this brand I didn't recognize, and when I looked it up, it looked like it was somewhat decent comps, but the condition wasn't great. So I decided to pass on those. Um, here's some sundry pants. This is a brand that I have pretty decent luck with as far as sell-through rate, but I've noticed the comps have gone down for me a little bit and they take a little bit longer. They weren't in the best condition, so I just left those. So shout out to mom. She got here right when they opened. She stood in line. Um, she didn't hit my traffic. <laughs> and so uh, she picked up a few things for me and these are all the items that I passed on. Um, she didn't know that I wanted to be a little bit picky today. I still had a lot of inventory at home. So there were some cute things that she found and I did keep some of them, but all of these right here, like that Mabel sweater was adorable, but it had a lot of pilling. And she wasn't looking at anything other than just the label and letting me decide. So again, this marmot jacket's great, but it had some signs of wear. Um, I didn't want projects. And even though things were $2, I really was trying to avoid picking up too much that was gonna sell for less than 25. So again, most of these items, if I was looking for inventory, I probably would have grabbed, but I was trying to uh, play it a little bit safe. Here's a brand that I don't do particularly well with. I think it's sold at Nordstrom. The style was absolutely adorable, so I probably would have picked it up for style, but um, I decided to pass because it did have some signs of wear. Um, I think I've sold this exact Free People jacket, but it, or no, Saturday Sunday jacket, but I've, um, I noticed that had some pilling. So here's a sweater, lots of pilling. Here's a Free People um, top. I really, really have the best of luck with oversized free people, and this was kind of normal sized, so I decided to pass on that. Wild Fox, I don't know. I'm just pretty much passing almost always these days. Um, it just doesn't get as much as it used to, and it sits for a long time. You know I love my Eileen Fisher, but the tag was coming off, it wasn't in the best condition, and so I decided to pass. I didn't recognize this brand and she didn't either. Um, it was a really cute style, but when I looked it up, it was a little hit or miss. So here's a Madewell sweatshirt that was absolutely adorable. I would have grabbed it, but there was a stain on the front and I did not want to take the chance. So here's a young, fabulous and broke. Um, I occasionally pick this up, but that was a little too basic. Um, another free people sweater that wasn't oversized. I like the style, but again, I just decided to play it safe. Um, here's another free people. So she actually found a lot of brands that I typically pick up at the bins But again, um, she was just letting me decide Here's something that's inside out. It's a Rebecca Taylor I think and when I flipped it, it was just kind of basic nothing too exciting Here's a we the free thermal it had quite a bit of wear as far as loose strings and stuff. So I left that um, I can't see this one, but I obviously left it behind. <laughs> and then this last one in this pile was a Free People sweater that I decided to leave. Okay, so here's some items that I picked up. And this was a new brand to me, it's Johnny Coda. Uh, I picked it up because it was actually in really good condition and some of them were selling in the 25 to 35 range. So here is a cool shirt. Honestly, I picked this up thinking I would try it on to maybe hike with when I'm camping. And if I don't like it, I'll sell it. Um, so I don't know. <laughs> That's probably why. Here's a new tag Zara pair of pants. I picked these up because they were new tags. I really liked the button accents and it was a size large. So really great basic. And um, I thought that was worth $2. Here's an oversized free people sweater, kind of like what I'm saying. Um, I did find this exact style and some of these are selling for, you know, 30 to 50. So Here's a Madewell shirt that I've sold before in a different color, and I personally really like this this top because it has you know polka dots. It's cute. Um, here's some Bella doll pants that are wide leg, comfortable, elastic waist. Again, not all this is high dollar, but I thought it was worth picking up. Here's some Acris career pants that are wide leg. They're brown. I'm not sure, but I thought I'd take a chance on it. 
Here's some Lafayette uh, 148 pants that I love the color. I thought they were great for spring, also casual or career pants. Um, so I grabbed those. Here's some Prana pants that were size large. The last three pants were all good sizes, which really played into it. So Stark X, I've sold this once before. I thought the style was pretty cute with the ties on the side. It was cropped style. Um, and this is a free people sweater cardigan again oversized fit i really do pretty well with body suits by free people and this is intimately free people um, again it's probably only 20 to 25 but they tend to sell well for me here's a made well sweater that i just thought was really great for spring it's got a little bit of floral accents um lightweight but still kind of offers some warmth I don't know if I should pick, should have picked this up. This is Sleeping on Snow and it had pilling all over, so I feel like it was the style, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Anyways, I saw a new wrap come out, so I decided to head over to it. Um, and when I started looking, I noticed this Brooks jacket. I realized I needed to feed my meter. Okay, the worst thing about the store is I have to feed the meter every hour. So I just fed the meter for my mom and myself. And uh, I'll head back in, see what else I can find. I'm not finding anything like amazing, but I'm finding some good deal, good items for $2. So, you know, that's Ben's pricing, but I'm trying to be a little picky. So let's see what else I can find. If it feels like I'm rushed today, it's because I'm rushed because it's a $2 on everything clothing sale, which is always fun. <laughs> but um, here's some board shorts that are men's. I've had decent luck with this brand. It's Saturday's NYC, but these look like they were altered, um, like made shorter and made tighter. So I left those behind. Honestly, this may have been one of my best finds, probably my best find at this store. New with tags, Spell, which used to be Spell and the Gypsy. Uh, spell with the gypsy whatever these are knit pants um they retailed for i want to say like 170 and they aren't too old of a style um so i was so thrilled to get new attack spell at the thrift store for two dollars is incredible always trying to keep things neat and tidy i hang my hangers every chance i get i try to make the employees happy all right so right next to those other pants were these show me your moo moo I didn't even look at most of the stuff to be honest. I just knew these were funky and fun and someone would love them. So I grabbed them for $2 and sure enough, the comps are actually pretty decent. So I'm glad I picked them up. Still struggling with hangers. All right, these I actually grabbed for myself that I didn't recognize the brand, Just Female. Comps were pretty mixed, but they felt super soft and they were gray, size large, and they're super comfortable. I've worn them at home a couple times and um, yeah. So after I was done with this aisle, I went and checked in with my mom. Um, it was starting to get busier and I was just feeling overwhelmed. So I decided to check out and we were gonna go to a couple more stores and take you along. All right, so I spent $58. There's someone parked pretty close to me, so I'm gonna let them go um, first so I can get out of this parking spot. But I spent $58, so just, under everything was two dollars so just under 30 items um which is great for two hours so i was trying to be picky i definitely could have grabbed probably another 30 in that time frame but we're gonna head to deseret and i haven't been there in a long time um probably about like four to six months um so we're gonna head over there it's 12 minutes away and see what i can find there Okay, I love the cleanliness of this store, but I do not like their hours. And also I've never really had too much success here. I've had a couple good days, but I don't typically go out of my way to come here. It's always nice to pop in because I do like to support the uh, thrift store, but I saw this dollar rack and this looked like some donations from maybe a manufacturer, um, quite a bit actually. This was the most I've ever seen at this store. So there were some John Galt, there was, I can't remember the other couple brands, and then there were these intimately free people tops. And while they were cute and obviously like I could do one listing for a bunch, I just felt like the style wouldn't get much. They were charging $3 a piece and I decided to pass. I mean, at the end of the day, at the day I was just, it just wasn't my favorite style free people. So um, I decided to head back over to the shoes after looking at the racks for a bit. I noticed these corkies and I thought about it, but honestly, I wasn't finding much in general at the store. So I decided to pass on everything, grab my mom and head out. I'm not finding anything. Look at this snazzy piece. 
I don't know what this is. Okay, so I didn't find much at Deseret and I don't really want to waste too much time today. Um, so today is Friday, uh, which is not a day I like to go to regular Goodwills because it's basically after dollar day. So I, I don't know, I just have it in my head that things are picked over. But there's a Goodwill that I've been to, it's hit or miss. I've actually met quite a few resellers there um, who have said hello. And so I think it's just, become a popular one, but it's near the campus USC, which is University of Southern California. And I found some decent brands there before. So I'm going to head over there, see what I can find. All right. I don't know why I always head to the shoes when I don't want shoes, but it's just habit. Um, those were some Jack Rogers that I've sold a couple times. They don't get too much for me these days and they weren't in the best condition, but here's some Pedro Garcia sandals. I've had some decent luck with this brand depending on the style, but those didn't look like they were in the best condition. All right, these boots, um, to be honest, I didn't recognize the brand. And so I looked them up. The brand is G-I-D-I-G-I-O. Giddy Geo, I don't know. I don't know how to say it. Uh, they're pretty expensive, and some of the people have them listed for 100 to 200 dollars, but some of the comps are 20 to 50, um, and they were marked at 20. So unless they were a guaranteed 100 dollars, I just decided to pass. Here's some Madewell loafers. I've sold this style before, but I wasn't going to pick it up at that price. Um, if they were my size and I needed them, I would have gladly paid that. But um, I decided to move on to jackets. Here's a jacket by Pilker on the Letterpress Anthropology. Uh, I really like the style, but again, it was marked up to $15, and even with my 20% coupon, it just didn't make sense. I did find this St. John uh, jacket, which I definitely would have picked up. It was a really cute color. I think it was the collection line. They had it marked up, but I would have paid up for this one, but I noticed there were some trouble spots, and I wasn't gonna pay to have this dry cleaned, so I decided to pass. In my arm, I was holding this Eileen Fisher. I think I did grab this, and to be honest, I still haven't tried it on yet. Um, I was thinking about just wearing it for myself, maybe, a couple times, but I'll probably eventually list it. Uh, this stood out to me because it's sequins. It said wedding day vibes. And while I'm not a big wedding person personally, I know there's a market for it. And so I decided to look this up. Um, and some of these are selling between 50 to $100, these little short sets. I think it's basically for brides to wear if they're getting ready in the morning. You know, it's got sparkle, it's got wedding stuff on it. So I grabbed it. Um, it was on a new rack, so it definitely wasn't on sale, but um, I thought it was worth it. Here's an Urban Outfitters jacket that I really liked the style, but it was marked up. It was new with tags, but it was marked up to $20. So yeah, um, I was so, so excited to see some Mari Mecco. Um, and I thought this was gonna be able to sell for more, but the comps of this exact style um, actually are only in the like 40 to 60 range. So I grabbed it, I picked it up, but um, you know, it'll probably be $40. Here's a Patagonia dress that I decided to leave behind, partly because it was marked at $15, but also because Patagonia uh, dresses don't do very well for me. So here's a brand I did not recognize, um, something of Norway. And um, I'll write it on the screen because I can't read it from right here. But it was a really cute style and some of the comps for this brand were decent. Uh, and I was tempted to pick it up, but it looked like it had some rippling kind of at the bottom hem. And I just decided it wasn't, it wasn't worth the risk. So I decided to pass. And I did pick up this House of Harlow top. It was a size large. I really loved the ruching. So I grabbed this and it looks like comps are between 30 and 40, which is great. I'm back home. I have stuff. Most of it's listed. I just realized right before I was gonna go film this that I missed a bag. So I'm gonna work on that today. But by the time this video goes up, everything mostly should be listed. Fingers crossed. Uh, so I've shown quite a bit of stuff from the Salvation Army, the $2 day or sale. Um, so I think I've shown everything in this bag. There was the butterfly sweatshirt. There was the free people sweater, couple sweaters. My favorite were the pink new attacks spell pants. Um, and those retailed, I want to say for like 160, 170. 
Um, and I listed them pretty high because there's not much available. So I think I started them at 99 and I think I have a couple watchers, which is super exciting. So if I could get, you know, 70 bucks for that, that'd be awesome. All right, this is stuff that I got at the regular Goodwill. Again, I showed some of this stuff, so I will show the stuff that I didn't show in the thrift with me. But just to start with some of the stuff from the $2 day, um, this was a new brand to me. And I, I like giving new brands a try, especially if I can get them for cheap, because it could just be one of those that doesn't sell for much money, but maybe sells really quick. And I don't know until I try. So this was Enavant and it's cursive and it's small, so it's probably gonna be a little hard to read, but E-N-A-V-A-N-T. Um, and then here's the logo back here. I don't know much about this because this is still one of the items that I haven't listed um, that I will be listing today, but I just thought it was a really good quality sports bra. And I like the fact that it had a little bit of, you know, a print on the back. So I decided to give it a shot for two bucks, we'll see and I'll learn something new about a brand, which I think is worth it. All right, I did get a Lululemon tank. This has some light signs of wear. I've sold this exact tank many times. Um, it's the one that has kind of a bra that's attached and then it kind of shows a little bit. Uh, I'll write the name of the <laughs> tank on the screen. I have a terrible memory, so. But I spotted the style. I thought for two bucks, you know, it's Lululemon. It has a cute little print right here. And I think the size of this was a six or four. So um, it's not in perfect condition. There's a couple small pulls on it. So I just noted that. I'll probably only get, you know, a, around $20 for this because it's not in perfect condition. But um, still, I like picking up Lululemon because it does sell eventually for me. Some stuff sells quicker than others, but. All right, this is a Madewell. It's a size XL. So. This I think is a nice spring top, spring summer top. It's a relaxed style um, XL, which is great. It is not some new fancy style. I've sold this exact top a couple times, but um, I am for, for two bucks the size, I figured I would pick it up. So I'll get that listed quickly. This one I have listed. Uh, I think this is a men's, but it's hard to tell. So let me know your thoughts. This is a Prana sweater. It has the kind of intentional, you know, pilled look, even though it's not pilled. Um, this could be a women's because it looks a little bit shorter. I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure. It looks like it's just a smidge too big for women's. But either way, I liked the blue color. Prana is hit or miss for me. Um, but I felt like this was a good layering piece. It's a good basic. And if it is men's, I do okay with men's Prana items, not for like high dollar, but they tend to sell. So we'll see. All right, this was another new brand for me. Um, and again, I just thought it would be worth trying. Plus it's hundred percent linen. Plus it's just kind of a cute little spring summer cardigan. So it's a sleeveless linen cardigan. It's got a little bit of a waterfall front and it has a hood. So this is a size medium, but as with many cardigans, oh, I shouldn't have put this on. How cute is that? Um, as with many cardigans, you know, the size doesn't always mean anything, but oh, I love these hoods. It's like a little red wet riding hood, um, you know, like very flowy. Uh, so I just liked it. I like the material content and I thought it was good for the upcoming season. I don't think I've shown the <laughs> brand yet and I'm not quite sure because this is still on my little pile to list still, but Jameson. Uh, and it looked like it was semi-decent comps, but mostly I picked it up for style and material content. So we will get that listed. I did get a Lululemon tank. I love this color, um, or not tank, sports bra. Um, you know, these only sell usually, unless it's some super new style, these only sell for like 15, maybe up to 20, but um, I just like the color, so I grabbed it. Easy to photograph as well. All right, these I was excited about. These are a pair of Lululemon joggers. To be honest, I tried them on and warm one day because <laughs> they're a size 10 and they're a little too high rise for me. Um, but they are in good condition. They're a jogger and they're comfortable. So yeah, and they have the pull tag, which is great. 
So I was a-okay with those, and I'm pretty sure the comps on those will be pretty good just because joggers in general do fairly well. Um, but I don't think I've sold that exact style of Lululemon before. So, all right, this is actually in this pile. So I'll get to that in a second. I stained, I had to stain treat a couple items. So that was one of them. This was in the $2 for a, a set. This is Eberge. That's how I pronounce it, but, um, They've had some collabs with people. To be honest, this is a little more worn than I was expecting, which is why I haven't listed it yet. I was gonna give it a wash and then I thought, well, maybe I'll just wear it. <laughs> this is not the point of going to these things, but sometimes it's just, oh, it's kind of cute and looks comfortable, but it's just a pajama set, striped. It's a size medium, so I feel like it's just gonna be a little small, but yet it also stretches. So it just, I did not, I was in such a rush at the first store that I wasn't giving things a good look and it just looks like it has wash wear. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna list this yet. Uh, it's a cute little set, but, and it was $2. So, you know, again, like if I get some wear out of this sweater and it's com comfy cozy, if I wore this or gave it to a friend, it wouldn't be a deal breaker, but I probably should have spent a little extra time. I was just worried about the meter. <laughs> so I was rushed there. All right, this was a new brand to me. It's not like a high end brand but I picked it up because it was a pretty cute style, nice for spring and summer, Paul and Joe Paris. And I think it's just polyester. So again, I don't think it's something that's like, yeah, but I thought it was pretty cute, you know, with a pair of jeans and a cute pair of sandals or even some shorts. I just thought the print was cute. And um, some of the comps for this brand, it's kind of hit or miss, but it looked like some of them around for that kind of style top were in the 20-ish range. So I really was trying to pick up higher dollar stuff. And I, I passed on a lot, but sometimes when it's a new brand, I just, yeah, I've said that like 12 times, but it's okay. This was a new anthropology collab tag to me. So again, I picked it up because it's a great little spring, summer, lightweight sweater. It's like a sweater material on the front and then more of like a viscose or something on the back. Uh, so this did have a spot. I tried to stain treat it. So we'll see. I've got to get it under lights and see if I got it out. I think I did. Um, and the comps for this collab, which is Cashel slash Anthropology, uh, some of them were, you know, depending on the item, but tops or, you know, something similar to this were in the 20 to 30 range. So I'll probably get 20 to 25. All right, and lastly from the $2 sale, this I washed and I think I shrunk it a little bit. It's Eileen Fisher. Uh, it's a 2X, which is why I picked it up. I did not notice a spot, but just for perspective, it's a 2X and I, yeah, it definitely shrunk. I mean, I could probably, I mean, even I don't like when things split like that. So, I mean, someone could wear it open. That would be pretty easy. But I think I'm just gonna have to list it low because if I list it correctly under the correct size, it's probably gonna run small for someone unless they left it open. Um, it's linen, cotton blend. It says dry clean only. I was just trying to get the spot out. I did accidentally dry it, which is, I think, <laughs> part of my problem. So we'll see. I mean, this isn't my style to wear, so I'll probably throw it on the mannequin. I'll just be full disclosure and I'll just price it low just to move it, but it didn't cost much. So, all right. So this was the pile of approximately 30 items from the $2 day. Moving on to the regular Goodwill, some of the stuff was on sale and then I did have a 20% coupon for anything that wasn't a sale item. So some things were 25, 20% off, 25% off, and then 50% off, but nothing was full price. This is a little Lily Pulitzer, and I thought this was a really nice Easter, spring, summer dress. It's got an exposed zipper on the back, and it has little ties on each side. Uh, this also had a spot. So I need to get this on the mannequin to see if I got the spot out. Um, because it was because it's printed, sometimes I just miss those things. So we'll see. Hopefully I can get this steamed up and looking cute on the mannequin. But Lily isn't something I find very often. So I get kind of excited about certain brands that I that just aren't a big LA brand, um, but still have a following somewhere. So um, we'll see. Hopefully I got that spot out. And, you know, most of this stuff, 
is in that 20 to 40 range. With that, if it's in good condition, you know, we'll see. All right, this is a free people skirt. This was on 50% off. And I really like the boho, kind of old school free people stuff. This is a print, it's not embroidered, but I love yellow, so I'm drawn to it. The unfortunate thing was, I just saw the free people tag and just thought, oh, cute, free people maxi skirt. I like those, um, except I didn't realize that the size on this is extra small and there's just no way. I mean, I'm not gonna try it on because I don't wanna stretch it anymore. I think this is stretched out. I think this would probably be better for a medium, possibly a large. So I would rather find something that is oversized and try and sell it that way versus the opposite like the, El the Eileen Fisher because I feel like some people want to shop smaller sizes than what they really are versus a lot of people don't want to buy a size that's you know on the tag much larger than what they are so hopefully I can still sell this I priced this pretty low because of the obvious stretched out waist but I think this is one that you could probably wear as a little strapless dress um, or a maxi it's just got that style that's kind of convertible I'm not sure if that's how it was intended, but sometimes Free People has those types of skirts that can be worn both ways. So we'll see. I've sold this exact equipment top a couple times in the same color, same print. It's just a silk button front shirt. Equipment was one of my favorite brands, you know, four or five years ago. Um, I loved finding it. Typically they would sell for $40 to $60 for a button front shirt. These days it's more in the 25 to 30 range, sometimes 35, but so this will probably be right around that $30 price point, which I'm still happy about. So, all right, some of this stuff I've already shown, like my little sequin wedding thing. This is a new with tags, Black Halo, and Black Halo is a Los Angeles brand. Uh, this is kind of a uh, schoolgirl type of look because it's navy it's got the collar the Peter Pan collar um, and it's kind of a fit and flare but I mean it's probably retailed for a few hundred dollars it's in good condition it's a size zero which was probably like the kind of the only reason I was questioning it but you know I thought I'd give it a go I did find one comp and someone sold one new with tags for quite a bit I want to say a hundred hundred and fifty um, I'm not expecting that, but I mean, if I could get 50 to 70 for this, that would be wonderful. So we'll see. This was a new brand to me and it looks like some of the stuff from this brand does really well, but for like some of the swim stuff, uh, but for a swim cover up, the comps for this exact cover up weren't too high. So it's just kind of going into the right season. I really liked the style. So it's Vanessa Mooney and I did find a stock photo. It looks really cute as what are you doing <laughs> there we go it looks really cute as a little beach cover-up um yeah and i mean i don't know what else to say about it other than i'll try this brand uh i think someone just i think i listed it for 39 someone just sent me a message asking if i would take 25 i usually just if you want to send me an offer you know i don't know i mean 25 is a little low for only being listed for like a week, but at the same time, the comps weren't extraordinarily high. It, it, it does look like certain things from this brand can do pretty well, but we'll see. All right, this I feel like is a perfect fall piece. It is a size large, but it does run a bit small. Um, it looks great on the size six mannequin. It could probably be like an eight as well, or maybe a 10 if you don't have too much of a chest because there's really no stretch with this, but I absolutely love this burnt color it's like a brownish orangish color it just feels like really good quality and the material kind of feels like a corduroy corduroy lace which i don't i mean that's weird but this is dolan anthropology it's not a line that i pick up all the time but i pick this up for size and style and you could totally wear this in the spring <laughs> or summer even it just feels like the color and the feel of it feels a little more fallish but you know, pretty soon in a few months, everyone will be tired of the heat and we'll be looking forward to fall. So, <laughs> all right, I picked up two torrid tops. The reason the styles are cute, I think people, someone's really gonna rock these, but also spring-like four, size four, um, which is a, I don't know the highest size of torrid, but I rarely find past two or three. So anytime I find a four or five and it's in good condition, I'm inclined to pick it up. So this is a little kimono, 
I, a baby doll kimono, I'm not really sure how I even describe this, but basically you could just wear it over, um, you know, a white top and just have a very feminine spring-like little outfit. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, why do I even try this stuff on? It's not like it ever goes with my outfit, but <sighs> anyways, uh, I did list this a little high just because of the season, the size and the style. I did have someone that was interested right when I listed it and they, I can't, I think they like asked if I would take a pretty low amount and I just said, no, I don't even think I said anything to be honest. I was out and about, but, um, yeah, I'm sure it will sell quickly. This was the other Torrid, also size four. So again, probably the same person. This is another one I think is great for spring. It's more of a rose. This could be spring, summer, or fall. Um, but the lace, the boho vibe, absolutely adorable. It's more of that baby doll style as far as the fit. So yeah, I thought these were both pretty cute. Both of these were only 20% off. So, you know, they weren't cheap for me. Tord is not something I typically like to pay thrift store prices for. I'll pick up at the bins, but I just felt like there was too much good about those to leave them behind. All right, here is another Eileen piece. And this was a size medium. Uh, this is just a really nice kind of lightweight. I think it's merino wool sweater. And I love this color. I love the warm tones. It's a turtleneck. It just looks comfy and soft and yeah. So I lean anywhere from 20 to 50 typically for most pieces. So that'll probably be in that 30 ish range if I had to guess, but I still liked it. This is an anthropology. This is a dress by Maeve. Uh, this is a size US 14, which I thought was great. And it's a cute little spring summer dress. It does have a cold shoulder, which I'm just not sure if how people feel about that, that goes in and out of style pretty regularly. So I'm not sure if that's out of style this season. I feel like last season it wasn't, but the season before it was in style. Some people don't care about that stuff. I think it's just a really cute dress with a cute print. Um, I think this is great for a vacation or a beach day. And I did read someone else's listing that these do run a little bit small and I didn't try it on myself. So I did put obviously measurements, but I just thought it was kind of cute. All right, another one I picked up for kind of print. This is made by Anthropology, size eight. This has a bird print, which I just love novelty print, prints. This has kind of more of a, it's not, a, uh, is it a peacock? I don't know, I don't know. It almost kind of has a little bit of a print that looks like a Japanese garden. Um, obviously very colorful, but it's just a little button down and you know, to put this with a pair of jeans and a cute pair of heels, or even if you want to spice up a business casual outfit, I think that would be adorable. So I think everything else I showed in the store and it was a fun day. I, you know, I was really trying to go in, not wanting to bring home too much stuff. And I think I achieved that and still found some great items. Nothing that was like, oh my gosh, this is going to sell for, you know, a mind blowing amount, but it wasn't a terrible day, especially with the $2 sale. So that's it. Be sure to hit the thumbs up. I will be back with the bins haul soon because I'm also working on that pile. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye.